director of Johannesburg, Herman Mashaba, has said it was not necessary for the South, Africa, South African government to apologize to Nigeria for the recent xenophobic attacks. Mashaba said this on CNBC Africa's political capital on Tuesday, that the apology is unnecessary. Nigerians and other foreign nationals were attacked earlier in September by irate mobs of South Africans who blamed them for spiking unemployment and drug-related crime rates. Now, many non-South African businesses in and around Johannesburg and Pretoria were also vandalized and looted by the mob. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, however, had apologized for the violence at the weekend in Zimbabwe. Now, with me in the studio is, again, Ifi uh, Oji, the legal practitioner, to make sense of all of this conversation. What, what's your first reaction as you saw that? I, I, I think he's right. I, I don't think there was any need for uh, Ramaphosa to apologize to Nigeria. I think he should have been crawling on his knees, apologizing instead, because mm -hmm. what they have done to Nigerian citizens, yes, there are a few bad apples, is, is, on, is inconceivable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking at the UN figures in 2017 on number of uh, foreigners in uh, South Africa. I think Nigeria is, um, is ranked 20th mm -hmm. in terms of um, uh, recorded uh, non, uh, um, non-nationals, uh, non -nationals, exactly. So, why would they then target Nigerians who, are, who only make up 20% of uh, non-nationals in South Africa, whereas you have other countries like the United Kingdom who are more than almost 200,000 mm -hmm. in South Africa. You have Germans who are almost, at, I mean, in total, they make up at least 300,000 uh, of, uh, um, of the population of um, uh, foreigners. So it, it, it's baffling that you would target such a small, in relative terms, mm. a small community. And um, I think uh, he definitely did not need to apologize. He should have been groveling and explaining to us why these things are happening. Mm -hmm. if, 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 in fact, when I heard you say, no, he shouldn't apologize for a moment, <laughs> I thought, are you serious? <laughs> um, you know, because there's been all of that conversations. And some people had even said in some quarters that if Cyril Ramaphosa was not booed when he went to Mugabe's funeral, right. probably he would not have realized the intensity of the harm, you know, and the hurt that all of this had caused on other African nations, you know, because of course it's not just Nigerians, right. but there are other Africans that are involved. Now, uh, to my, my next question would be, uh, you know, People have said that Nigerians should come back because if our country is, we also mentioned that in the, in the news, mm. if our country is in good shape, we would not have to go back, you know, or go outside any other country seeking for greener pastures, mm. as it were. But now, our president has accepted the apology. And then he is going back to South Africa, you know, sometime in October for a state visit. What are your thoughts? Because again, people are saying, we've not seen as much, this is opinion, we've not seen as much remorse. Yes, there was the apology, but on the other hand, we've what not seen action. So. Yes, exactly. I, I agree with you, Amaka. I wholeheartedly agree with you. I think there need to be actual steps taken to ensure that these acts don't happen again. He has, he has shown in, in, in inertia in everything he has done. He, there has been no activity in terms of trying to um, tackle gender-based violence. There has been no activity or no action in terms of trying to tackle all, all the Afrophobic or xenophobic attacks. He has just been a sitting president and mm -hmm. nothing more. So they need to, there needs to be action. I don't think that uh, endorsing him by going on state official state visit is going to help matters. We, they need to show that we, we need to show that we mean action. We mm -hmm. mean action. We mean business rather, and we need to see action. Mm -hmm. So him going, in, I, I would love to believe that he's going for diplomatic relations, and they are going to have serious talks of a plan to, that, to put together to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Otherwise, I, do, I really think it's premature. Even for. compensation, because what we've even seen is as soon as he made the apologies, that's Siri Ramaphosa, mm. the next thing is that, oh, it's, it's the compensation, because you know we are pushing from this part, the government is saying, okay, we need compensation for these people that have lost lives and property. But he says that is, will be moved to when uh, the president comes in for the state visit. Uh, you know, begging the question, would anything really happen, you know? What they're trying to play is a chess game, really. Mm. And as far as, in terms of diploma diplomacy, that is what they would typically call a chess game and a strategic move. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think that we're beyond games at this point. You need to show action. 
So all the, all the typical uh, principles and plans and strategies that you would learn in your diplomacy school, which I think most of these uh, statesmen go on, is not what we are looking for. This is real life. This is real action. We need to see something happen. Mm, what translates to making uh, lives better for yeah. people. Now, uh, let's again move to the people that have returned. Now, mm. we've seen... Uh, more figures. Mm -hmm. As of yesterday, uh, from 600 and something that had willingly registered to come back, the number has increased to 104 persons wanting to come back home. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, yes, they really feel unsafe and there's an urgent need for these uh, Nigerians who are in South Africa and who don't feel safe to come back. Apparently, mm -hmm. that's what that shows. Now, the next question would be. The Nigerian government has said uh, they've given them 20,000 Naira, you heard in the news, they've given them data, what, uh, two months of call, they have promised scholarship for some people, okay. I mean, Abike said that uh, two days or three days ago. And now we've seen again in our news that the Lagos state government is deciding to do something for those who are based in Lagos. How about those who are not based in Lagos, you know, those who have left the country for a long time and now are beginning to, you know, start up? Would our government, would the states, would this be left for the federal government or the state? There should be some kind of intervention at state level. I mean, I have to commend His Excellency Vajite Sonwulu and he, I think Jermaine Sonwulu, yes. who is in charge of diaspora and I think also foreign investments, if memory serves me correctly. So I think that them stepping up and because in, in, strict, in strictest terms, it's not really their responsibility. Mm -hmm. So they have actually stepped above and beyond in terms of trying to secure um, some kind of uh, semblance of a good life mm -hmm. for Lag citizens that live in Lagos and migrants that are returnees from South Africa. But I would also say that more has to be done, especially it's not enough to decide and to be to pick and choose who you are going to uh, endow with a scholarship. Mm. I think at that level, and especially at diaspora level as well, because this will go beyond Nigeria, and then other countries will see how we have reacted to migrant returnees in Nigeria and think that we do not value us, you know, as citizens. Mm. So there needs to be some swift, sharp action as well from the, at, at the federal level to ensure that these, uh, that these sort of attacks, uh, they don't have any more mimic attacks anywhere else in the world. Mm. So it, because every, the whole world is watching and we need to have a particular stand. That mm. is what I believe. That is what I believe. Now, what you said just reminded me of a certain, uh, one of the analysts saying here that if we don't treat them well, you mm -hmm. know, the returnees, even mm. though you can say, yeah, it's not the duty, but mm -hmm. because they found themselves in this situation, if mm -hmm. they're not well taken care of, mm -hmm. it would mean, it would seem that it's moving from fry, frying pan to fire. Uh, yeah. And you wonder, where is the old saying of a uh, sweet home, no place like home? So it's important, like you said, that uh, something mm -hmm. is done. So many thanks, uh, Thank Ify, so for much, sharing Amaka. your thoughts Thank you here. so much.